Hello, Booktube. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a Saturday morning here in West Michigan. It is 7.20 in the morning. It is September the 30th, 2017. Uh, it's getting light outside. It is supposed to be a sunny day here in West Michigan. I should go out into the dead American world and take photos of the natural world, but there is no natural world anymore. There are, there are no more wild places for me. Now maybe if I had an adventurous spirit and had tons of money, I could have myself flown to the wilds of Siberia or the wilds of the Arctic or up in the, the wilds of Canada. But for me here in Holland, there are no wild places. Everything has been trampled to death by hordes of zombies. So what are you going to do? So I'm sitting here writing in my diary. I'm on page 887. Drinking a cup of cold coffee. I just made a fresh pot of coffee. And um, yeah, last night I made a video for this booktube channel and uh, I read some of the essays in the Neoconservative Persuasion Selected Essays 1942 to 2009 by Irving Kristal and what I read I didn't comprehend at all. <laughs> I read and nothing really penetrated my brain. To show you, I'm not. I don't. I'm not. I'm not a New York intellectual type. So yeah. So I'm sitting here, looking at the day ahead. I don't. Like I said, I should go for a walk somewhere. I say that every morning. I write it every morning. I should go for a walk move my body but it's kind of hard I don't know maybe you have to force yourself to do things that you don't want to do and that's one thing uh, something I, I fail at I suppose that I don't do what I don't feel like doing now when I was working I had to go against my feelings I had to force myself by sheer willpower to get up like, I used to get up at, um, I had to be at work at 7 o'clock in the mornings. So I get up at 6 every morning, and I leave the house about 6.30. Rain or shine, snow, ice, fog, and I drive. About 15, 18, 20 minutes it took me to get to work out in the country. And... I absolutely hated that job. I, sometimes I just can't believe I did that for oh, at least 13 years. And I've never been the same since. I think that my, that job really broke me. It um, Something inside me snapped. <laughs> I never have recovered from it. There are certain things in life that you never recover from like I don't rec I've never recovered from my mother being killed in a car wreck when I was 16 years old there's certain things that kind of damage you that you never recover you never completely heal from and you're always just broken th the rest of your life and you just go limping through life crawling through life screaming through life Weeping, maybe you just go through life laughing hysterically like some crazy madman. But so, yeah, so I'm sitting here and I don't, I've been having these books on my mind 
And I don't know why, because I don't know if I am really there spiritually, but uh, I've been, these books come to my mind lately in the mornings, Into the Silent Land, A Guide to Christian Practice of Contemplation by Martin Lard. In the Sunlight Absence, Silence, Awareness, and Contemplation by Martin Lard. I think why these books come to my mind is that when I feel this way, I just feel kind of like abandoned or forsaken by God. I know I'm not. I just feel, I don't feel the Holy Spirit. I feel desolate inside and what can you do when you go through those spiritual times sit in silence uh, I have two Bibles next to me you know I could sit here in the morning and I could read the Bible and just meditate upon it It's like I could go through the Psalms, Psalms of David, like I could read Psalm 1, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but the, his delight is in the law of the Lord, and his law he meditates day and night. So maybe that's what I should do when I'm going through these desolate times and when I feel like, like pure crap. His delight is in the law of the Lord and in, in His law and His word and the word of God He meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in its season whose leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever He does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the right congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous. The Lord knows the way of the righteous. So I have to, when I'm sitting here and I don't, I feel awful and I feel terrible, I have to know the Lord knows me. He knows what I'm going through. He knows the way of the righteous. He he knows what I'm going through, and I have to just go before him in prayer and ask for grace and strength to get through this dark valley of whatever I'm going through. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. So, you know, I could just sit here and read the Psalms, and I can read books on contemplation and sitting in silence. I can sit here and just watch the sunlight come, write in my diary, drink a cup of coffee, wait for my wife to come home from work. Existence keeps going by. There's a beginning and there's a middle and there's the end. Everything is flowing. Everything is coming to that final day of judgment, that day when the world will end and we'll go into the eternal state, the new creation. In the meanwhile, here I sit, in middle America, drinking coffee, writing in my diary, and wondering when I will feel inside myself a feeling of pure bliss. So I hope you are having a good Saturday. I'll go see what kind of college football games are on this, this afternoon. Maybe something's on. Some team I like to watch. Maybe I'll feel like watching football. Maybe I'll just turn the TV on and sit there and just watch something. Just take up time. So I will close. If you want some good books on silence and contemplation and prayer and awareness, I recommend these. Hoping you're having a good day. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for being out there. And until next time, bye.